across some linking words, also known as cohesive devices. Knowing them is just the beginning. To get the full benefit, you must use each of them in exactly the right situation, not too many of them and not too few. I'll show you how. And if you fancy a challenge, there are two super advanced linkers at the end. It's Asya here. Let's get started. By definition, cohesive devices are words and phrases that show how different points in writing fit together. For each situation, there is a linker or several. Let's learn the most important ones, starting with this simple idea. Companies want their staff back in the office. But many employees prefer to work from home. There is a contrast between what companies want and what their employees want. But is an okay way to show this contrast. Although in IELTS writing, there are some better ways. And the first of them is although. Although companies are encouraging their staff members to return to the office full time, many employees would prefer to work from home. Uh, let's take another simple example. Although it was well made, the film was not a commercial success. Have you noticed the comma between the two clauses? Examiners do check if you punctuate correctly as part of your grammar score. So pay attention to your commas. In IELTS essays, we talk about contrasts a lot. So there is a great alternative to although. However, it's used in similar situations, but it's different. How different? It's a question of grammar. Look at this example. Some people enjoy working from home. However, others prefer the structured environment and social interaction provided in an office setting. We have two sentences linked together. When we use although, we have one complex sentence like this. So do you see the difference? However, is what is known as a conjunctive adverb. It means it comes at the beginning of a main clause. If you fancy a piece of more advanced grammar, you could still merge both sentences with however into one. All you need is one small but very important punctuation mark. Some people enjoy working from home, semicolon, however, for others, and so on. So we put a semicolon before however and a comma after. The examiner will always check that you haven't forgotten that all-important semicolon. Another conjunctive adverb we can use is nevertheless. It works just like however. Some people enjoy working from home, semicolon, nevertheless, comma. For those seeking professional growth and networking opportunities, the office environment may offer more avenues for advancement. Try to use a variety of linking words in your essay instead of repeating one several times. Once you use however, then although, the next time you may wish to use a simple but. Next, we're always looking to explain something, answering the question why. And probably the most effective linker here is because. Because fewer people are going to the office. Companies need less space. We could put this information the other way around. Companies need less office space because many people are working from home. Have you noticed that in the first sentence we have a comma and in the second we don't? In the first, our dependent clause with because comes first. So we must separate it from the main clause with a comma. In the second, we don't need a comma. Well, it may be easier for you to remember that if because is at the very beginning, you need a comma in the middle. If because
causes in the middle, you don't need a comma. Okay, one synonym to replace because is since. This is a very versatile word and you probably know it when we refer to a period of time. Since 2018, since last year. But here it means the same as because. Since more staff members prefer to work from home, the company must find ways to keep track of their productivity. Instead of using because, we could rephrase the sentence to use therefore, which introduces the result. Many people are working from home. Therefore, companies need less office space. Have you noticed anything? Therefore, from the grammatical point of view, it's just like however, it's a conjunctive adverb. We use it at the beginning of a sentence most often. Most companies would prefer their staff to return to the office. Therefore, they're trying to make their workplaces more attractive by providing extra facilities, such as gyms, canteens, and quiet zones. As an alternative, we can use as a result. Many people prefer to work from home. As a result, companies are investing in technology that enhances remote collaboration and productivity. Mistakes around the usage of linky words are very common. I find that those who don't prepare for the test much tend not to use enough of them. And those who try a bit too hard to tick boxes to please the examiners may overuse them. What's better, to use too many or not enough? Both are equally bad for your score. I mean, as bad as a band 5. There may be limited use or overuse of cohesive devices with some inaccuracy. So if you don't use enough linkers or use too many and you also use them incorrectly, that's a sign of a band 5. To get to a band 7, you must make sure that a range of cohesive devices is used flexibly. But you don't have to be perfect as some inaccuracies and some over underuse is allowed. For a higher score, you just need to get them right. We haven't quite finished with contrast, although when we have a simple difference, we can call it a comparison. In these cases, there is no need to use big words like although or however. Look at these task one examples. The age at which young people leave home in Sweden is just under 18, whereas in Croatia it's over 30. Whereas is a subordinating conjunction, just like although. But we're comparing data or simple facts. An alternative to whereas is while. In Northern Europe, most people eat dinner quite early, while in Spain it is common to eat at 10 p.m. Uh, we could begin the sentence with while or whereas, but I think it's more common to put them in the middle. And don't forget your commas. Quite often in IELTS writing, when we make one point, we want to make another point to explain our ideas in depth. Commonly, we do it with and. People who work from home are less likely to call in sick and often work longer hours. We could use a more formal linker furthermore and have two longer sentences instead. Those working from home are less likely to take sick days. Furthermore, they tend to work longer hours, including in the evenings and on weekends. Furthermore, is a perfect way to connect complex ideas together. Two alternatives are moreover and in addition, which are used exactly the same way. I know that many people love working from home, but as someone who does it a lot, I'd love to have an office for these reasons. 
Working in the office facilitates collaboration and idea sharing, which foster innovation and creativity. Moreover, the office workspace provides access to specialized equipment and resources that may not be readily available at home. Here is some very formal writing style for you. You can write more simply and get a band 7, not a problem. But I think it's good for you to see some examples of more sophisticated formal writing style. By the way, I should mention that linking words are not the only cohesive devices you must use. Have a look at this requirement. A range of cohesive devices, including reference and substitution, is used flexibly. So you need to use referencing, he, they, it, and substitution, this problem, those ideas, and also to connect your ideas and your sentences logically. On YouTube, each lesson uh, usually covers one little part of the task. It's like a piece of a puzzle and you need to assemble all the puzzle to see the full picture. If you'd like to prepare step-by-step -step and learn everything you need about your IELTS exam in one convenient place, check out my IELTS courses. We focus on writing and speaking, and these courses can help you save time and achieve a better result. I'll link them in the description. Back to our linking words. The next type of sentence which I would expect to find in almost every essay is a conditional sentence with if. An IELTS examiner will take notice if you use conditional sentences. For example, if employees are allowed to work from home, they will be more productive and feel less stressed. This is a classic conditional sentence where the verb in the if clause is in the present tense, are allowed, and the verb in the main clause is in the future tense, will be. We can also make the verb negative. If companies do not abandon the idea that everyone must go to the office every day, they risk losing some of their most talented staff. Instead of making the verb negative, we can use unless and keep the verb positive. And if you handle that well in your writing, the examiner will be very impressed. Unless companies abandon the idea that everyone must go to the office every day, they risk losing some of their staff. Okay, the next bit may look easy, but be careful how you do it. You are asked in task 2 to give examples from your own experience or knowledge where appropriate. Let's look again at this example from earlier on. Companies are trying to make their workplace more attractive by providing extra facilities, such as gyms, canteens, and quiet zones. We're simply listing examples, and in this case, we need a comma before such as. But if we give just one example, we don't need any commas. Companies are implementing various strategies, such as flexible schedules, to adapt to the changing work environment. No commas at all. What else could we use? For example, of course, going back to the previous sentence, providing extra facilities, comma, for example, comma, gyms, canteens, and quiet zones. The same? Almost, but notice the commas before and after, for example. It would be the same with for instance. Now, before we move on to the two truly advanced linkers I've prepared for you today, you may need a linker to finish up your essay. In task two, it's a great idea to finish off with a short conclusion. To summarize, for companies to recruit the most talented young graduates, they need to take two factors into consideration. Other phrases are equally good. In conclusion, to conclude, in summary. On to our advanced linkers. 
Handling sentences like I'm about to show you in your IELTS writing doesn't guarantee you a high band score, but believe me, the examiner will be ready to give you one if you meet other requirements. In particular, if you manage to write more complex sentences without making more mistakes. Remember, to get a band 7, most of your sentences must be error-free. And you don't really need this level of complexity for a band 7. But I always get asked, what kind of things do you need to do to get a band 9 rather than a band 7? So let me show you a couple of points. Here is our starting point. Working from home helps you balance your work and life better, saves time and avoids the stress of commuting. This is a good sentence. But here is how we could take it to the next level. Not only does remote work enable a better work-life balance, but it also eliminates commuting and the associated stress. Please note that after not only we have does, like if we were going to ask a question, not only does remote work enable, not enables, just like if you're asking a question. This is a highly complex piece of grammar. Here is one more example for office workers. Not only can working in the office foster teamwork and social interactions, but it also provides access to needed support and guidance from colleagues and supervisors. Impressed? Try it! You can ask ChatGPT to proofread your sentences. And if you get them right, that's something you could incorporate in your IELTS essay. However, if it's still a bit confusing, better stick to a slightly simpler version. But if you're up for a challenge, I have one more for you. Despite and in spite of. We can use either, usually at the beginning of a sentence, to make a sharp contrast between two opposing ideas or facts, and to show that the contrast is surprising. Here is our informal idea. Some employees are great with technology, but struggle with interpersonal skills. How can we make it formal? Despite handling the technological part of their work extremely well, some employees lack the necessary interpersonal skills, despite and in spite of a tricky because of the grammar. After despite, we use the gerund handling. And please note that in both parts of the sentence, the subject is the same. The employees handle the tech part and the same employees lack people skills. Uh, here is a simple sentence to illustrate this point. Despite leaving in plenty of time, they arrived late. So they left in plenty of time and they arrived late, the same people. Instead of using the gerund, you could also use a noun after despite. The company will continue to give opportunities to young graduates despite the current adverse economic situation. So the noun after despite is the situation. These linking words would work well in any type of IELTS writing task 2, task 1 academic or formal letters in general training. But on their own, they're just a tiny cog in the big IELTS writing machine. And you can understand how to write essays that meet all the requirements for a high score, oh yes, in my courses linked below, but also by watching this video. And thank you so much for watching me today. Good luck with your preparation and your exam. Bye!